ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் யுவர் ஃபேவரட் லிட்டில்ஸ் லா யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் மீ யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட் சண்முகம் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு அ லிட்டில்ஸ் லா யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி ஃபாலோ அப் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் த்ரெட் டம் இன் கேஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் மிஸ்ட் இட் ஐம் ஆடிங் த லிங்க் டு தி டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஃபீல் டு செக் இட் அண்ட் திஸ் வீடியோ டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் how you are going to encounter the issue that you faced by doing a root cause analysis to your thread dump in fact there were like several steps but i have identified this as my first approach to identify the thread state and do a root cause analysis and giving a solution because that's what everybody needs right so when you are under, uh, understanding the issue and you're coming up with an analysis so you have to address the solution and that's what we're going to discuss in this video so uh, the previous video is we have discussed uh, about thread dump like uh, you have your thread dump in your hand and you are doing your analysis and everything and then follow up to the question so every time when we go to the interview the interviewer will ask a follow up question from the previous question right uh, the way the from the way that we answered so this is a question something like that so the question is let me uh, bring out the question to you so the question is uh, in performance engineering so by analyzing the thread state distribution it's which is like crucial for identifying the performance bottlenecks in java based application so the interviewer is asking you can you walk us through a scenario where you encountered a thread state distribution issue in a java application and how you identified them what kind of root cause analysis you did and what are the solutions you have addressed to the process because that's the most most important part we all know we we identify an issue yes that's very easy to identify the issue and we do a root cause analysis by the experience that we had and by doing the google we can do whatever the uh, the root cause analysis that we do but what are the solutions you gave and how does it work so that is what is going to be your perfect answer to complete this okay so now let's move on to the next part so the first part of it is as a person who like you are attending the interview and how are you going to approach this answer so the first the first part of it is you are going to identify the thread state distribution and i will take you through it so when it comes to the thread state distribution so that, that's the very first part so the thread dumps we all know uh, there were like multiple states of each thread which is typically indicated as runnable uh, waiting blocked timed waiting or terminated so we have all these five states of thread so to identify thread state distribution issues you would look for patterns in the distribution of these states right for example if a significant number of threads so in fact whenever you give any theoretical answer please come up with an example because that will uh, show the interviewer that how knowledgeable you are in that particular area so you have to come up with those in that way right so uh, you have to come up with this example like the way i am telling you here so in uh, if a significant number of threads are in the waiting state and are all these uh, uh, knowledge or all this information you will have in your thread dump right so if you have a significant number of if you are observing or if you are able to find that there are like a significant number of threads that are wait that are in the waiting state it could indicate contention points where threads are waiting for resources to become available right similarly if threads are frequently transitioning between runnable and blocked status it suggests there are potential locking or synchronization issues so this is how the first part which is the identifying the thread state distribution so you're going to identify the state of the thread and how well they are distributed so that's the first point which you have to give it as a answer or you have to start answering the question in that way and then the second part which is the critical part is the root cause analysis so once you have identified the thread state distribution which is um, the threads which are in the waiting state or threads which are frequently transitioning between runnable and blocked state so once you have identified those patterns you would perform a root cause analysis to understand why threads are in these states and what is causing the contention right 
So this involves examining the call stack of threads, the waiting or blocked state to identify the specific code path or synchronization points which are causing the delays. And additionally, by correlating the thread state distribution with other performance metrics such as CPU utilization or database activity, you can provide further insights into the underlying issues. You must answer this in a better way. That by correlating the thread state, that is the thread state distribution which we have identified in the root cause analysis with the other metrics. So how do you get those metrics? So you can get the CPU utilization or the database activities through the application monitoring, application performance monitoring, and you must correlate those values and you're going to add further insights into the underlying issues. So now moving on to the last part, which is the solution. So what are the solutions that you're going to use? So now, so far you have identified the thread state distribution. You have identified, you have come up with the root cause analysis. So you, you did a root cause analysis and you have come up with the uh, your, your analysis part. So now it's the solution time, right? So what is going to be your solution? So based on the root cause analysis, you must propose several solutions to address the thread state distribution issue. And out of it, the first point is optimizing the synchronization. So if contention is caused by the synchronized blocks or locks, you would review the code to minimize the duration of critical sections and reduce the likelihood of threads waiting on locks. So that's going to be your first solution, which is optimizing the synchronization by reviewing the code to minimize the duration of critical sections and reduce the likelihood of threads waiting on locks. And then the second part is using concurrent data structures. So by utilizing concurrent data structures and lock free algorithms will help you to mitigate contention by allowing multiple threads to access shared resources concurrently without blocking. So that's the second part. So you must use the concurrent data structure using which you have you are going to utilize the concurrent data structures and log free algorithms which will help you to mitigate contention because that's the key word here the contention so you have to mitigate the contention which will allow multiple threads to access shared resources concurrently without blocking right and then the third solution is going to be your resource capacity so you are going to increase the resource capacity so if contention is due to resource constraints such as thread pool or connection pool saturation you would consider increasing the capacity of these pools to accommodate higher concurrency levels and in fact this part will definitely work in most of the situations because i have been through this scenario so if you are seeing a contention just due to resource constraints such as the thread pool or connection pool saturation you would or you should consider increasing the capacity of these pools to accommodate higher concurrency levels and then the fourth point which is the asynchronous processing so by introducing asynchronous processing techniques such as asynchronous input output or message queues which can offload blocking operations from the main application threads and it will reduce the contention and it also improve the responsiveness so that's why the asynchronous processing is very important so you have to introduce these techniques where like the asynchronous input output or message queues and by doing this you can reduce the contention and improve the responsiveness and then the last solution which is the performance tuning so by so these solutions are specific for this scenario for which is the uh, identifying so when you identify the thread state distribution so these are the solutions for this and in fact these solutions will not work for the other issues which we are going to discuss in our next video so these are the solutions which will work for this scenario so based on your issue and based on your root cause analysis you should come up with the solution so the last solution which is the performance tuning so finally you would perform or you should perform a performance tuning activity such as optimizing the database queries which is very important and then the reducing of network latency or you have to fine tune your jvm parameters to elevate performance bottlenecks and improve the overall system efficiency so by implementing all these solutions or by implementing one of these solutions you can effectively address the thread state distribution issues and you can enhance the application concurrency and optimize the performance for better scalability and responsiveness so with that we come to an end we will discuss about another scenario another issue and what are the root cause analysis and what are the solutions for that in our upcoming video 
So until then, it's my way of Masin Shanmugam and your favorite letters law.